The previous East-West Rail video focused primarily on the construction of the line and the progress that has been made so far through Buckinghamshire. In this video, however, we'll be taking a look at the route from Bletchley to Bedford, and in another video, we'll explore the section from Bedford to Cambridge. The second part will be released at the same time as this video. The two videos won't provide an exhaustive overview of the project, but I hope to cover the key elements and provide a broad overview of the route from Bedford to Cambridge. Although this video is about the section from Bletchley to Bedford, we first need to travel west to Oxford, as the station and or the approach will have to be upgraded to enable more services to be introduced in future. The current £161 million upgrade at Oxford Railway Station that will deliver a new through line and platform on the western side of the station, as well as the recently completed track and signalling upgrades, will allow for an additional two trains per hour to be introduced between Oxford and Milton Keynes. However, the two additional trains per hour that will travel east towards Bedford and eventually onto Cambridge will mean that additional works will have to be carried out at Oxford Railway Station, with passive provision for future upgrade being included within the current upgrade. As far as I can tell, no firm plans for the scope of the upgrade or budget have been agreed, however some potential interventions have been identified such as further track work on the northern approach and or a new turn back on the southern approach. As well as further future upgrades at Oxford, additional work will have to be carried out at Bicester, with London road level crossing being a major concern. The current preferred option is to build a new road over rail bridge to the east or west of Bicester village, with the existing road remaining open only for local traffic. In addition, it is proposed that foot and cycle provision will be improved by means of a new over or underpass. The work at Bicester will be costly and disruptive for local residents, so any plans will have to be carefully considered. However, the existing level crossing would be closed for a considerable part of each hour once the full four trains per hour timetable is in effect, so some sort of alternative is essential. Heading east towards Bletchley, the line will cross the West Coast Main Line, connecting with a new high-level station, before the route splits, with tracks joining the West Coast Main Line to head north to Milton Keynes, and tracks heading east to Bedford via the Marston Vale Line. The section of EWR, which is currently under construction, will eventually see trains from Oxford travelling to Milton Keynes, which will mean if passengers wish to travel to Bedford, they will, for the time being, have to change at Bletchley onto services operated by LNR between Bletchley and Bedford. Marston Vale line services were suspended in December last year after the collapse of Viverail, which meant LNR could no longer operate Class 230 DMUs. However, services are due to commence in autumn winter this year using Class 150s subleased from Northern. The initial EWR service pattern would see two trains per hour operating between Oxford and Milton Keynes, with services operated by Chiltern Railways using Class 196 DMUs subleased from West Midlands Railway, with services expected to begin in early to mid-2025. The journey from Oxford to Milton Keynes, stopping at Oxford Parkway, Bicester Village, Winslow and Bletchley is expected to take around 45 minutes. Unfortunately, there are no plans to electrify the line, so EWR services will be operated using diesel traction for some time. For services to operate from Oxford to Bedford, the Marston Vale line will have to be upgraded. However, the scope of the upgrades has been reduced since the public consultation opened in 2019. It was originally proposed that the line speed would be increased to 100 miles per hour to match the specification of the route from Oxford to Bletchley. However, it is now proposed that the permissible speed will be below 100 miles per hour, but higher than the current 60 miles per hour speed limit. In addition, it was assumed that up to five trains per hour would use the Marston Vale line. However, this has been revised down to three trains per hour, comprised of two semi-fast services, making limited stops between Bletchley and Bedford, and one all-station stopping service. The reduction of scope means that level crossings at Woburn Sands and Lidlington will be retained in order to reduce the overall cost of the upgrade. 31 level crossings will still have to close however, with 16 to 19 new bridges proposed to replace level crossings. In addition, new link roads to existing bridges will be constructed. 
of the 31 crossings network rail already has permission to close 12 however further permissions will have to be sought to close the remaining 19. As well as the closure and or replacement of level crossings other significant infrastructure upgrades will also be required. For example, the single track section through Fenny Stratford will have to be doubled, as will the section approaching Bedford, which will require the relocation of St John's Station. In addition, some stations on the route will have to be relocated and have platforms lengthened to accommodate longer EWR trains. There are proposals to relocate Warburn Sand Station as well as relocating Ridgemont Station in addition to installing a passing loop through the station so fast trains can overtake the all station stopping services. There are also proposals to relocate Lidlington and Stewartby stations. I wasn't able to find out when the works will take place or when they'll be finished. However, a network rail briefing regarding Oxford Station mentioned that the additional infrastructure required to support four trains per hour will be needed by around 2027 or 2028. With work on the section between Bicester and Bletchley expected to be completed next year, we would expect that the work on the Marston Vale line would start towards the end of 2024 or beginning of 2025, which provides around three years to complete the upgrade, which seems achievable. In part 2, which is available to watch now, we'll be looking at the section from Bedford to Cambridge, which will involve building a completely new railway.